Today on Side Guys, reigniting candles through their smoke trails. Welcome to Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. On today's episode, we're going to be relighting candles using their smoke trails. It's magic. Well, really, it's, it's science because we understand what's happening. It's magic. Sure. Combustion is a high temperature exothermic chemical reaction between a fuel and an oxidant, in this case, atmospheric oxygen, which produces oxidized products in a mixture known as smoke. The only items you're going to need for this experiment is a box of matches, a candle, and optionally a folded up square of aluminum foil. It's a very good idea to wear a flame resistant lab coat or apron when dealing with fire, and our younger viewers should always have supervision from an adult. Finally, it's important to keep flammable materials and hair away from the flame. The first step in our experiment is to light our candle. The next step is to snuff out your candle with your aluminum foil and then reignite it by placing a lit match in your smoke trail. If we watch that again in slow motion, you can see the flame travel from the match down to the wick. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. To understand why we're able to light a candle through its smoke trail, we first need to understand what it takes for combustion to occur. Fire and combustion require three ingredients, fuel, heat, and oxygen. Removing one or more of these ingredients will cause the fire to extinguish. In the case of our candle, the wax serves as the fuel, the heat comes from the lit match, and there is plenty of oxygen in the air. An important property of wax is that it won't burn in its solid form. When the wick of a candle is lit, the wax first melts into a liquid. It then travels up the wick where it is vaporized by the heat of the flame into a gas, which is used as the fuel to keep our candle flame lit. The products of the combustion of our candle's wax can include water vapor, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and carbon soot. These products are visible as smoke. When we snuff out our candle's flame, the wick still retains a lot of the heat for a short time, which can be seen as the glowing red tip of our wick. This leftover heat isn't enough to relight the candle, but it is enough to keep vaporizing the wax fuel into the air where it mixes with a lot of oxygen. The vaporized wax travels upwards in the smoke, along with the other products of combustion. When we reintroduce heat to the vaporized wax in the smoke trail, we then have all three ingredients for combustion. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. The wax is quickly consumed in combustion, and the flame quickly follows the trail of fuel or smoke back to its source, which is the wick, giving the warm wick just enough extra heat energy to relight the candle. Well, that's it for reigniting candles through their smoke trails. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. That was magical. It was scientific. Yeah. Or both. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.